Guys, so I thought I'd do my merch collection. At the time, I thought this was a great idea until I realised I actually have quite a lot. But I think this is everything. So I'm not going to include any of my figures or Finko Pops because I already showed those in a separate video. So these are including like clothing, like items and, you know, stuff like that. So I'm going to start. So first thing here is Pikachu. Um, this I think, I believe, this was from Leicester Comic Con. I think it was. It might have been. Don't quote me on that. But it is Pikachu. And this is one that you actually get the Pokemon Center. Um, but yeah, so have chilling on my bookshelf. I then have Dory. Dory. Yeah, Dory. Um, I um, got her from... Um, What's that place? L sea Life Center. It was when like um the movie, the Finding Dory movie came out and had like loads of like Finding Nemo um merch and stuff. So I just picked up Dora. Next thing is Wicker Man. <coughs> obviously, this is from Alton Towers. I decided to keep the label on him. Just because, I don't know. You know, I thought it would be pretty cool. But it has like a description of a wicker man. Like his name and yeah, stuff like that. So I thought it was pretty cool. I did like the ride as well. But yeah, I thought I'd pick that up. Next thing is this Green Day bag. Okay, I should probably throw this. But I can't because it's Green Day. I've had this bag for years, like you can tell I've had it for years, but guys, oh, it's Green Day. I don't want to get rid of it, but you know what, maybe time to get rid of it because it just looks so worn out. <coughs> I remember I got this from Angel Clothing, I believe, online. But yeah. I then have the Beauty and the Damned Cap, obviously. Um, Jeezy. Um, I've got that. I also got bandana, which I'll show you. Which is this one here, and I also got a keyring, but it's in one of my coat pockets. I usually have it on my purse, but it keeps coming off, which is annoying. But yeah, and all this came with the um, um, Beauty and the Damned album. So yeah. Then the next things I got from Comic Con. So the first one is this one. I think this this one was from Darby Comic Con, I believe. Yeah, but it's just Joker and Harley. There. And then this one was I want to say Birmingham Comic Con. Um, this one was by um, Birchman, I think is it Birchman? Birchman's Art, I believe, but yeah, I'm going to say this was from Birmingham Comic Con. And then um, I have this one here, which I don't remember which one I got this from, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It's obviously Harley. I also have this um, Harry Potter Slytherin uh, Quidditch um, keyring. Um, I remember it was when my brother went to Harry Potter World and I gave him a list of things that I wanted. And so that was one of them. <laughs> um, also, um, drag, drag, Draco the Malfoy's wand as well. I wanted his wand or um, Luna's wand because Luna's wand look pretty cool. But yeah, so I just have that displayed on my bookshelf. Now we are on to the clothes. A lot of these are clothes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm apologising for clothes clothes. But the first one here is a crop top and it has Mean Girls and obviously or well, Mean Girls, should I say, and obviously, you know, it's from the film Mean Girls, because it's got the 
burn book there so this that next one is this one which is a jedward top which i got my first of a uh, jedward did i actually buy this buy a merch or did i buy the poster i got this online no i actually think i bought it anyway my first ever gig I know some people will say that it's pretty sad, but whatever guys, whatever, I'm kind of grown out of them now, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I still wear this, I tend to wear this more so when as a gym top, but yeah. Next thing is this Marvel top, this one I got from Primark, I think it's Primark, I swear it's Primark. It might have been Primark, I don't I don't know. Either way, why did I get it in the size 40? Anyway, there's a marble top. Then this one was from a loot crate. It says, become an oblivion at recruiting now and um, every half moon of the month. And this is from the film um, Creatures. It's that, you know, that spin off of uh, Harry Potter. Um, I'm not going to lie, I've not seen it. I think, you know, you're killing the franchise. Not as much as Disney's killing them. Um, Star Wars, though. That's just, that's, that's for another video. I don't really, I'm not even going to do a video about it, but that's just, yeah. And then I have this um, top of Thanos, which I got, which recent one, which I got from H&V. You would have seen it if you saw my, the, uh, one of my vlogs. Um, the one before the Birmingham one. But yeah. Oh, I forgot I have this top. You probably, most of you probably won't recommend, recognize it, but this is obviously Francesco Cabani from Eurovision a few years ago, well, not a few years, last year, I believe it was. And basically, I got this. I got this off of Amazon, and it's signed, and it's contain this top and also the single um including um remi remixes of it as well the well, karaoke version and one remix of it no rephrase that the normal <laughs> no the normal song the karaoke version and then another song which is a remix so yeah there's that Right, then this, which you would have seen in the vlog, which is new, it's a skull, um, and it says bad if you notice it, but that bit actually says bad, and then at the back of it, it's got the poster from the um, Beautiful and Damned tour, so yeah. I still don't know why Steph London wasn't there. Like, there was no thing online saying that she cancelled, but I know a lot of people were waging on Twitter saying that, you know, they paid this ticket just to see her, which is pointless, because you won't pay a ticket just to see a supporting act, because they only do, like, a few songs. You'll see it for the main act, which I find is weird anyway in itself, but either way, they were, they were a bit annoyed because there was no information saying that she'd cancelled or anything like that, and... O2 were pretty much like ignoring that was the she went to the O2 one in Brixton. I think that's in London, I fucking don't know. Right, next is this uh, crop top Jeezy, um not crop top, string top, whatever you call these tops. But yeah. It says Jeezy on it. And I have this one, is another Jeezy top. It says Love Hey, receive love, ignore hate. Um says so that. I then have this Transformers top. This was from a loot crate. Again, I don't usually wear that in. I'm not a massive, massive fan of Transformers or like no much. Like, I saw like, obviously the song, uh, the film with them. Um, I can't remember his name, but uh, the Just Do It guy. <laughs> um, I saw the first one. I don't think I saw the second one. But yeah, I'm not really. I'm not a huge fan of Transformers, and I have these pajamas which are Harry Potter. Um, it's got the owl on there, and it says "Waiting for my letter." These were from Primark. 
And then I've got the PewDiePie, but can you do this? Fucking look at this, the meme, meme that he, he created, basically. Basically, he has a gaming chair, and he's sponsored by it. And he's like, avatar, and so for one time, he just says, can you do this? And he leans right back, like, it's one of those, like, swizzle gaming chairs, but you can lean back to the point where you're lying, and it ends up turning lying, when it turns like you're lying down. And I'm like, and then it ends up turning into a meme and stuff within the PewDiePie community. community. And I thought, you know what, I want this jumper. So I got it. And that is it for this video. So, bye guys.